Hi there! Today is June 11th, 2012. I am 30 weeks and 3 days, so 30 and a half weeks, so I'm in week 31, which is amazing to finally have gotten here. Um, it's starting to go a bit faster now, which is exciting and horrifying all at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm very well prepared. I'm doing a lot of reading and um, researching and preparing. Me and Domingo both have been um, doing that and getting ready for Ailey's arrival and preparing myself mentally and emotionally the best that I can um, as I face a hopefully um, natural, pain-free, drug-free labor and delivery. I am ecstatic that it's getting closer to time for me to, to do the final um, baby prep stuff like washing clothes, um, organizing, bringing up baby supplies, putting them in their order, setting up like the nursery area and the diaper changing area, and going through her clothes, and packing hospital bags. Um, I made my list for what I wanted to pack and pick the bag and um, have a good idea of of everything I need and I put a list of like last minute stuff on the wall in my hallway like on the door jam so that if Domingo needs to grab my last our last minute things he'll know exactly what we need to grab so it's not any big confusion I'm sure we'll have plenty of time um, as I plan on laboring at home for as long as I can with Domingo and um, my doula Sandra so that is um, something I've done to prepare for that. I haven't started packing the bag yet, um, and I probably won't do that for another couple weeks. Because everything I kind of use regularly anyways. So <coughs> I know you don't need to bring a lot, and um, so we're going to have one small suitcase for all of our things. Because our hospital is awesome and provides basically everything that baby will need and most of what I will need as far as um, postpartum supplies and such. I have been feeling so tired lately. Um, my body is just exhausted and considering the growth I've been experiencing with Ailey, um, she's kicking me right now, um, it's no wonder, you know, she's just getting so big and so strong and I can feel where her head is, which is usually up in my ribs, which is not the most comfortable position by any means. Um, weight gain has been slow and steady um, for the most part. I started um, becoming more active, uh, easily getting into it, uh, maybe 20-25 minutes of some cardio, a lot of stretching, and some arm weights just to kind of keep my strength up because I've been not working and with working I gained a muscle mass and um, had lost a lot of weight before then and so I'm just trying to get some of my strength back so I can um, so I can labor and delivery in the most um, inner strengthened and outer strengthened way as possible. I want to be as, as healthy as I can in that aspect. Um, I'm reading a book by Anna McGaskin which is a world-renowned um, midwife who has done a lot of publishing and advocating for women and childbirth rights here in America and she is awesome. I'm reading the book called Birth Matters uh, Midwife's Manifesta and I'm finding a lot of really useful and enjoyable information in there and then I plan on reading some breastfeeding books um, and doing my research with that and I'm feeling a lot more secure and um, understanding some of the options for comfort measures while I'm at home and while I'm at the hospital and I'm feeling a lot more empowered to take on this <laughs> amazing journey that I'm volunteering for. So <clears throat> I'm very excited. I am just beyond myself nervous, scared, you know, everything, every you know, emotion you can imagine, less than 10 weeks, 12 weeks max or so, you know, depending on when she decides to arrive away and it's just kind of getting down to game time, like alright, get my game face on, get ready and um, 
mostly it's just exciting. I just can't wait for her to be here and to hold her and comfort her and see her for the first time. It's very exciting. Um, let me show you my belly real quick and we'll uh, call it a day. Um, let me see how it's going. She's still very high. Her ribs and everything are always up here, so I've been having a lot of problems with shortness of breath and rib pain. Um, but yeah, not a huge difference from last week, probably. Um, I feel a little bigger. I feel more that she's just stronger. And gaining more weight, which is good. I was worried that she's going to be too small because I wasn't gaining any weight and it made me a little nervous. But all is well in my home. Um, we're just excited and enjoying our summer. It's been very hot and it's um, easier for me just to stay inside. <laughs> Most of the time it's just with how shortness, how my shortness of breath, the heat, my dizziness and um, issues with that, they just don't mix well together. So I'm trying to take it easy, but then still not trying to be too lazy. So other than that, I am doing good. We are good. We are happy. We are excited and we are feeling so blessed. All right. Until next week.